Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to my live sale. Let me see if I can refresh my laptop down here and get me on board with everybody. Refresh my laptop down here. There we go. Get me. Hey, I on thought that board. was. There we go. Awesome. I got it fixed. So how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody's um, well. Weather's a little uh, gloomy here today. It's not quite raining, but it's definitely not sun shining. So you can go out. It's pleasant. Oh, it's very pleasant because it's not too hot. It's not too cold. I like it. I like it very much. So while we are waiting for our friends to join us, let me see what time is. It. Okay, that one says three. I can't see on that one. I cannot see on that one. Oh, hi, Norma, Jean, and Judy. Welcome, welcome. Just kind of doing a little chit chat in here, waiting for friends to pop by. And I was saying that the weather here in Houston is a little gloomy today. It's not exactly raining, but you know, it's definitely not sunshine. But actually, kind of makes it it kind of makes it nice because it's not too bright to uh, or hot or anything to go out and and get rid of some of those dead plants left over from that deep freeze because I'll tell you what Texas plants aren't uh, <laughs> aren't made for really cold weather. Ooh, hi Belinda, cleaning your garage. So, is that going to be like um, finding good stuff or just a lot of work? <laughs> um Hey, Dolores, you awake, huh? You ain't gone to bed yet. <laughs> it's about like uh, 8, 9 o'clock over there. Because it's 3 here. I guess that depends on where you are in the country. So, anyway, if you have not, um, I'm looking at my notes. I made notes this time, so I don't forget things. If you have not seen my last video with, what was on that video? What was on that video? I don't remember. I know part of, <laughs> that's terrible. Part of it was about my 250 subscriber because I finally made it. it. It's actually past that, but so anyway, if you want to have a chance to win this sweet, sweet skunk with a flower in her hair, she's a toothpick holder or an air plant holder or whatever you want, this little vintage piece, then you need to comment on that last video and let me know what you like to see in live sales. That will end on Friday at 12 noon my time central, which is 1 p.m. Eastern. And then be on the lookout for make sure you're subscribed and you have your alert bell on so that you'll get the notification when I have released the video that says, and the winner is, and I'll use the little random comment picker generator thing. And that's how we'll decide who wins. I know it, it's kind of little, but she's sweet. It, a skunk picking flowers. Come on. This is something my grandmother would have had or probably had, but anyway, it's for my 250. So they get better as it goes along. So nine. <laughs> hey, cat. Thank you for joining. Um, I was talking about commenting on my last video 
so that you'd have a chance to win a 250 subscriber prize. But listen, I was going to try something new today. Get your opinion on this. You know how everybody holds up their card and tells you the price and the number. So I was thinking that I would just right up front go ahead and tell you the price so you had time to think about, you know, make a considered decision upon your purchase. And then I will tell you what the number is after I've described the item. What do you think? Do you think it'll work that way? I mean, if it doesn't, we can always do it the other way the next time. But I thought it'd be different. Let's, let's try something different. You know, it's, it's not like I'm making you guess the number, who the number is between. That would be fun. That would be fun. We'll say the numbers between this and this, and the person who guesses the number would get to win the item. What do you think? That probably wouldn't work on something like a fairy land or something. But there'd be some mad people. Be some mad people. So, what have you been doing, Dolores? What's been going on over there? I know you have. I think you have a new video out that I haven't had a chance to watch. I was watching Beth's just before I came on, uh, Tammy's and Beth's, and I was re-watching a season of The Walking Dead. <laughs> hey, I like the season where Lori dies and Rick meets Michonne. Hello, Maria. How are you, sweetheart? Maria is from even further away than Dolores. So, okay. Just working, just working and working. So now, okay. I must have missed that part. Where was I when you had your interview with Beth? Where was I? I was out of town that weekend. Trying to watch it in the car. I can't remember exactly where I was. So I know you're in the interior department. Is that correct? I told my husband that, that you did that. And he was, he was very excited that you, uh, you worked over there with cars. My husband's a car guy. He's, he's worked on everything from Model A's, Model T's, Mercedes, Jaguar, uh, a Bugatti, uh, I mean, Corvettes. He's, he worked for automotive textiles. Okay, I got it. My husband worked for a, um, uh, a company that, that restored and refinished really old cars for really rich people. That's what he was doing when I met him when we were young. So he's he's worked on a lot of cars. He's a car guy. So all right, let's see. Hi Lori. Thank you for coming in. Hello, Beth. I'm glad you could be here today. We were talking about just all kinds of stuff while we were waiting for you guys to kind of join in. Um I didn't get any feedback on the way I'm going to change the, um, the, the, the pricing and numbers. So hi, mama's treasures. I don't know your real name and I apologize for that. And I may have asked you before, I have a really bad memory. I try to write everything down. And so until I use it, I'm, I, until I use it a few times, I just can't commit it to memory. I don't know why. Maybe age. I don't know. Okay, so let me get a drink and then we'll get started. All right. The first item that I have for you today is $5. <laughs> and it is 
a vintage piece of Wedgwood. It's the Wedgwood Heart. It is, now my research indicated this is 1952. Hold on, let me scoot a little closer to you guys. My research has indicated that it is 1952. Uh, I'm not Nate, so I cannot say for sure. It is definitely Wedgwood. It is incised with the Wedgwood insignia or name, however you want to say it. It is in really, really good shape. The only issues I saw with it was right here on, I don't know what you call these, on the slip. There, two of them have two little black dots there and there. And that's it. Everything else is great. Hi, Joanne. Can you ask questions again on buying? on buying oh the question was see like before i showed you i said okay as i showed you I said, okay this is going to be five dollars today i want to give go ahead and give you the price first so that you can consider what you're buying and decide if that's what you want to spend so the wedgwood heart trinket dish that is almost five inches is five dollars as i said and it is give me my card number 66. so it's five dollars number 66. and i don't know i just thought well maybe i would just tell people you know how much it is right up front no point in, it's not like it's gonna be a needs to be a secret or a surprise so I'll just go ahead and tell you. Okie dokie. Thank you, Kat. I appreciate that. Calypso. All right. Now, the next item I have for you today is $10. It is a set of salt and pepper shakers still in their packaging and it is the clearly canadian salt and pepper shakers as you can see in here there are the graphics they're like little tiny bottles of this i don't know i don't drink this <laughs> that's embarrassing but i don't i don't drink this but it says what does it say oh my gosh um sparkling water okay it's sparkling water and it is their salt and pepper shakers they are as i said really these are not either hold on excuse me there was a mix up at the at the manufacturing plant today Good grief. These are $5. Wrong car. $5 number 77. Now, isn't that more reasonable? <laughs> Somebody at the factory is going to have to have a talking to. Because these bad boys are five. These, these bad boys aren't 10. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Where should we have it in Dallas more? Okay. Flavored water from Canada. Ah, okay. Mama's treasures. Thank you. I appreciate you completely. All right. Now. See, that was right now. This is so weird. One. Two, three. All right, I hope this is right. What was that one? I don't know. Put that over there. We had an extra card. That's what happened. It was an extra card. Okay. Sorry. Okay. For $10 today, I have a Anger Hawking Fire King gravy boat. It is an actual Fire King. 
it's this beautiful white pattern. Let me see if I can get the, there you go. It's Fire King. It is in great condition. It has a tiny, tiny little flea bite right here, which I'm not even sure I can, look, can, can you see through the magnifying glass? Let's see, does that work? Maybe, up there. Uh -huh. It's small. <laughs> it's very small. But I think it's cute. Now look, because it's white, you can put so many different things with it. It can go with anything. Any holiday. Ooh, 4th of July, red, white, and blue. That would be lovely. And as I said, it is $10, and it's number 97. $10, number 97 for the Fire King Gravy Boat in white. Hi, Nate. Hi, Nate. It's so hard for me to keep up with all that, you guys. I I, I appreciate you being, um, sorry. I appreciate you being very patient with me. So, you have that, Maria? It's nice, isn't it? I like it. If I don't sell it, I'm going to decorate with it. It will work well. It will work well. All right, let's put that back over there. And the next thing we have is a perfume bottle. I have a pressed glass purple perfume bottle. It is unmarked. It has no issues whatsoever. It's a really beautiful light purple color. I do not think, oh, sorry, it's gonna be $10, guys. I do not think it has been used because there is no smell in there. Now the stopper is a glass stopper with a butterfly on it. And the butterfly is in excellent condition, no damages. So the $10 for the purple perfume bottle number 51. Number 51 for the perfume bottle. And if you guys need me, Please type in caps, and that will help me to see it. And let's see, I see D has come in, Southern Vintage Picker. Hey, D, how are you? It's good to see you. You're going to be so interested, and you may have been to the place that that's going to be on my next haul. You may have been there. If you didn't, you're going to want to go there. So you have to wait. All right, the next item, $16. And this is a 1976 Joe Hammond art glass paperweight. It's a bird, of course, as you can tell, with the beautiful orange flower inside. His name is on the bottom, as is the date. The date is very small in the center and is hard to see, but you can see his name there. He makes such beautiful paperweights and, and art glass pieces. And have you noticed that all of the, I don't know, are they the same guy using different last names? Because there's like three makers and they're all named Joe. Anyway, he's sixteen dollars and he is number ninety two. Sixteen dollars number ninety two for the Joe Hammond paperweight. He's pretty. Number ninety two goes to Mama's Treasures. 
Thank you so much, Mama's Treasures. Let me write you down here. Make sure I'm not missing anybody. 76 was a good year. I remember 76. I remember all the big bicentennial celebrations on the on the TV and stuff. That was so exciting. Now see, this is wrong. Oh, that's because it's this one. <laughs> all right, nine dollars. This is nine dollars. It is the new magic in the kitchen. It's 208 delicious d dishes made with sweetened condensed milk. Now it was an Eagle brand um, advertising tie-in piece from 1931. I knew when I saw this young lady here, the way she was dressed, and look at that stove in the background of that picture. Do you see that? I knew this book was old and but it had no actual date on it, so it took some digging to find out. Some lovely colored graphics in here. And uh, all the pictures like that of the food. Ooh, that one's not very advertising. I'm not going to show you that one. Fudge. But it's filled with frostings and cakes and breads and magic caramel. Magic caramel. But... It is in good condition. The very center has just has loosened the pages there. Everywhere else is really good except whoever owned it did some figuring. And I always, when I looked at it, I thought, well, I don't know. 469 organic pillows. I don't know. Anyway, it's $9, and it is number 96 for the 1931 Eagle Brand Magic in the Kitchen cookbook. Hey, Tammy. I'm glad that you made it. You sure did a great job last night. You did a very good job last night. Did everybody watch um, the Rescue Squad last night? Our Miss Tammy was on there. She looks so pretty. <laughs> she did great. I was very proud of her. And Michelle, I mean, that girl gives me some good information. So I found last night's episode to be very good. I really liked it. All right. Our next piece is. No, that's that. It's a one-man show, folks. What can I tell you? If I had a tambourine between my knees, I'd be playing it. $12. I think you'll like this. Tanala Duck. It's the... I don't know. Is he, like, soaring through the air? It's the flat one in the gray wash. He's got some really pretty flowers painted on his back this flat duck and he is signed right there let me see okay I gotta redo that light I don't like it I'm gonna something different next time it's a little bit too bright anyway he is signed he's the gray wash flat duck for $12 I think he's a good buy and he is number 64, $12 for the Tanala Duck signed in the gray. He's in very good shape. Okay, Lori. I shall put you down for the Tanala duck, and I thank you, ma'am. Hey, Nancy, how are you doing? 
Uh, you get one of those big medicine things now, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have work those. Oh, I have those. Mm, they're so much fun. I had to restock mine this morning. Oh, I know, D. I sold some. I had a oh, said I had a squirrel and a bird and I don't know. I had three or four pieces. Who bought that? I think it was Mickey. I think Mickey bought that. Our next item is eight dollars, and it is a, an advertising recipe tin. Let me see, 1981. It was the Van Camp's Boston Baked Pork and Beans, <laughs> but it's a lovely tin. It is actually, yeah, it's tin. It's a recipe box. It's got good graphics all the way around. Limited edition. Did I say 1981? It's 19. It's 1986. My pardon to you. No um, recipe cards, unfortunately. It's empty, but it's clean as a whisk. Hi, Beth. So, this little fella is $8, as I said, and he is number 76. Number 76 for the Pork and Beans Van Camp Recipe 10. So, you get 10, great for uh, a decor, and you can put recipes in it. Who'd have thought it? Number 76, if you decide you're interested. All right, let's see. Where are we going next? Oh, oh my goodness. Where is Laura? I need Laura here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to wait on this. I'm going to wait for Laura. She'd be so mad at me if I didn't wait on her. So we'll just skip this for right now, and then we'll see what happens. All right. We'll put this here because we're skipping that. This is $9. It's a beautiful doily with the pansies all the way around. How in the world do they make that? It's just, ah, oh, I love these colors. Now, this, boy, you could use this for Mardi Gras with the green and the purple. You could use it at Easter. You could use it for St. Patrick's Day. All your spring decor. That perfect condition. It's $9, and it is number 100 for the pansy doily nine dollars number 100 for the pansy doily okie dokie where are we couldn't take advantage of it oh nate you're a nice guy you're all Oh my, thank you. I turned my phone off. I promise I did. Well, maybe I didn't. Well, I'm not going to now. <laughs> we know what happened last time. So, I just hope nobody else calls. Ugh, it's probably a jinx. Everybody know will probably now call me. Don't call me. Hi, Dave. Don't call me. <laughs> I think I forgot. I turned off everything else, I think, but that one. That figures. All right, for four dollars. Now, I found this little guy and I bought him and I thought, oh, now he is the cutest little Scotty dog. I mean, he's precious. Turned out to be Avon. Now, I don't know. I looked him up 
And they have a line of dogs. They got a poodle too. So now I'm on the lookout for a poodle. But boy, is he cute. He's in great condition. And look, look at the old, look at the old face. He's, a, he's just a cute little Scotty dog. But he's four dollars. If anybody is interested in having him with your dogs, if not, he will make an appearance during 4th of July with my red, white, and blue. That's going to look good. And he's small enough that I can... They did do some neat animals. The dog line is just fabulous. If you've not seen the dog line, you need to take a look at that because, whoo, I liked them. Anyway, he's going to be on my 4th of July if nobody wants him. $4, number 80, if anyone's interested in the Avon Scotty dog. He's even still got his, his little collar on. He's a cutie. He is a cutie. He will blend. He will blend. That's why I'm trying to make sure I'm reading. Oh, okay. Let's see. Got a little tiny egg for five dollars. Look at the little egg. It's a bone china egg. It, it, he looks hairy with this in there, doesn't he? <laughs> bone china has got pretty little flowers. And let's see, what does he say? It's about his bone china. He's Taiwan, and he is genuine bone china from Taiwan. Got the three little legs. At some point, I think he was a candle, which makes perfect sense to me because I've seen two or three other ones that were candles. So, But if you collect the egg bases, I think he will be a nice foil to the, the, the larger ones. And if I can pick up my card, he'll be number 86 for $5. Oh, okay. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for, for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'll drop by on your channel very soon. Be well, my dear. So anyway, $5, number 86 for the mini egg vase. Okay, Belinda, I got you. Miss Belinda Carroll would like the egg vase. And I will write you down. Now, the only person so far that I know that I have not sold anything to before is Mama's Treasures. So Mama's Treasures. I didn't put my email on there. Let me type it in for you because I didn't put it at the bottom and I haven't put it in the description yet. It's just my name, which I can't type and say at the same time. <laughs> but you got to put an A in front of it. Now, when it pops up on here, it's going to highlight the vintage conversation part. You'll have to look and see that it's got the the A there. But it's in front of it. I should capitalize it. But it's a vintage conversation at gmail.com. So when we are through, if you will please send me an email with your name on it so I will be able to send you your invoice, I would appreciate it. Then I will put you in my book and you won't have to worry about it after that. So has Laura made it yet? Laura has not made it yet. Ooh, I hate to do strawberries without Laura because she's the strawberry girl. But, but maybe that will give everybody else a better chance at the strawberries if we do it without Laura. So we'll wait a couple more items and then Laura's on her own. So I better give Laura a call. All right. Now, this poor little guy. I kept thinking he was a monkey until I really looked at him. He's not a monkey. He's a dog. 
Martha, 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 read above. Where, where, where? What did I miss? Oh, okay. Thank you, Nancy. I got you, Nancy. He was number 80, and I got you. Thank you. See, I need the, the and I missed that one. Thank you so much, Joanne. I appreciate your doing that for me. And Nancy, I appreciate your purchase of the Scotty dog. Awesome. I'm going to move him over here so I don't try to sell him again to somebody. Okay. Now I've lost my place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hey, Christine. Makes the dream work. All right. I thought this poor little guy was a monkey because of his hat. He has a fez on. And I thought he was an organ grinder's monkey, and he's not. He's a dog. He can be an airplane holder or a toothpick holder. Let me take them all out here. He's a little dog holding an umbrella. He just happens to have a fez on standing beside a basket. He is German and it is incised in his basket in the back right through here. It says Germany. See, you'd have thought that, I don't know, there's some clues on here I, that just escaped me. He's $6. He is a bisque feel and he is in great shape. And he is, he's, he's old. He feels really old. He's just got that look, the color, and, and the style. He appears to be kind of antiquated to me. He's number 53, and he is, as I said, $6 for... See, and I agree, Nancy. I agree, 20s or 30s. But he says Germany on his back, and he is $6 if anybody is interested. And Judy Scallett is. She says she wants her some, some German... Puppy monkey. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for the poor little guy. He was obviously a dog. I don't know why. All right. Let's see. We'll go ahead and look at this. And um, see what you think. Now, I don't know... If, if you guys think it should be an offer up or if you want me to just put a price on it. It is a Lefton strawberry canister. Yeah, puppy monkey. That's what he is. Lefton strawberry canister. I got that, got this that last weekend of, that I went to Round Top. It's, it's beautiful. It's got the green strawberries and the red strawberries. It's a Majolica as you can tell. I know. Holy strawberries, Batman. I searched and searched. To try. I know. Where's Laura? Laura Melinda, she's missing it. She saw it on my live sale preview. She must be driving that truck, making deliveries, and can't get on. I found one other. I'm not going to tell you how much it is because it was ridiculous. But it was hard to find. Because nobody, they, nobody, if it lost its Lefton sticker, nobody knew that it was Lefton. And it's actually a canister. And there are other canisters of different sizes that match it and go with it. So what do y'all think? Is uh, You want a straight price or you want to offer it or what do you want to do? I'll go with whatever you guys want makes no 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 difference to me let me tell you what its issues are do you see that right there it's got that and i thought it had another oh no that's not no i just showed you that well maybe not okay it's got that <laughs> Wait, like a cookie jar? <laughs> I don't 
no, I didn't weigh it. I didn't weigh it. Oh my God, it's like distance, guys. Um, all right, I need some, Nancy, how much does it weigh? It's five inches tall without the lid. Oh, don't be, I should have weighed it. I didn't even think about it. I mean, I can sit here and hold it for, for quite a while in one hand. So anyway, let me show you the other thing on it. Okay. So you want to, y'all, y'all, okay, offer, okay, offer. Um, we'll start it at $16 if anybody's interested in it. Did I have a year on it? No? Okay. It's got a very old crack right there. And that crack, I can see it lightly right here, but you can't see it on the outside. So it's, it's on the inside. And the lid, the lid is perfect. No, it's shorter. Well, Nancy, do I weigh with the lid on? I mean, not weigh, do I measure with the lid on? If I measure with the lid on, it is over nine inches. I thought, well, see, the, the bottom itself is, oh, I measured bad. The bottom itself is seven inches. It's not five inches. So seven. So it, it's the 10 inch. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with ten inches then, Nancy. I'm gonna say ten inches. I mean, it's very bright and lovely. So I see Lori with twenty three, and I see that Belinda is out. So um, that looks like it's good to me. I'm going to go ahead and say that we're going to give it to Blue Flamingo Mercantile for 23. Sold. Over. Out. Done. Thank you, Lori. Let me write you down here. Okay. Fabulous. All right. Moving on. $16 for the strawberry salt and pepper shakers. These are Japan. They are in excellent condition. They have an overall, like a leaf pattern, and it is a, a raised pattern, a textured pattern. They look like little miniature cookie jars all on their own with the lids. So $16 on these guys, and they are number 82. If you would like the Japan strawberry salt and pepper shakers that look like miniature cookie jars. The, the cookie jar, Laura? Okay, I see Christine was hollering at me and is that because Lori, you want the cookie jar sent to Laura? Yes, okay. I can do that. And number 82 went to Joanne. Thank you, Christine. I got it. Thank you, Joanne. I got that. 
I got your number 82 on the on the salt and pepper shakers. I appreciate y'all helping me. I couldn't do it without you guys. Could not do it without you guys. Y'all guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up, please. <laughs> I would give y'all a thumbs up for helping me if I could. <laughs> Helen Booty, come in here. Helen Booty. Everybody loves to say Helen's name because they like to say Booty. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I always tease her about. All right, this is a Regal line for $10. You could use this on your vanity, in your bathroom, in your kitchen. It could be for cookies. Um, I think Beth once said hair curlers. Now, let me tell you about these things. These things are fabulous. This is the 1960s luxury plastic. They had they had all kinds of service wear in this plastic. It is in great shape. It is a beautiful sunny yellow. But yeah, I mean, like if, if you had if you had money and uh, you were going to have a picnic or a party and you didn't want to bring out your your good glass, this is what you bought because they had everything. It's got this most beautiful like a texture on it that it's hard to describe it's like a scroll work and it's oh it's lovely so bright and sunny when i when i saw it at the antique fair there was sun shining on it and it all oh, just mm. i said okay i'll take it and if you would like it again it's ten dollars number 85 if that's something that you're interested in and if so, then I will send it off to you. And it can be sunny in your kitchen, your bathroom. And you can find other pieces to go with it if you want, like a coordinating set. Joanne, I got you. Thank you, ma'am. I think you will like it. Okay, I, I, got, I see Joanne uh, be, before... Uh, Belinda, if anybody else sees different, let's see. Yeah, I've got it on the phone and the tablet. Yeah, Easter. Thank you, Helen. I didn't even think of that. All right. Now we have a, a little figurine. You may want it just for you. You may think of it for a, a, a granddaughter, a, a grandson, a whatever, who likes ballerinas. This little figure is a art mark. She's art mark. She's Japan. She's so pretty in this lovely state of repose. Yeah, that didn't work, but I tried. <laughs> She's got a crown on. Her little pink tutu. She's in lovely shape. Not too much wear on the gold of her ballet slippers. I remember when I was a little girl, I would have died to have something like this. She's $8, number 99 for the Art Mark Ballerina. She's very fragile. She's just, she's precious. She's so sweet. Number 99, $8 for the little ballerina. If anyone is interested. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. I hope you get all sorted out very quickly. What have we got now? Oh, let's see. I know this little guy. I found this guy there. Of course, like I said, all these things came from Round Top where we had the antiques fair market week, whatever you want to call it. 
But um, I know a lot of people like to collect the interesting little bottles. And this one had a very Art Deco vibe with the chevron pattern in the glass. Had its lid and everything. It did have something in it which I poured out. Um, still not sure what it was. Still not sure what it was. And the bottle does need some more cleaning unless you just want it grungy. I didn't take all the grungy off of it. I just kind of washed up the outside. Probably should have left it crusty. <sighs> Yell at me if I should have left it crusty and the next time I will. It has some numbers on the bottom. It has a five, a zero, and a 16. But my mother would have taken this and she would have put dried baby's breath in it. Hi, Miss Pamela. Hi, Debbie. She would have put dried baby's breath in it. Maybe put a ribbon around it right about here, a little bit tiny one, and put it on the shelf. Five dollars, number 63, for the Art Deco clear glass bottle. Yeah, made me think of my mom. She's been gone a long time. She would have liked this bottle. I'd have had to give it to her. I'd have had to give it to her. <laughs> Butterfly nurse, but how are you? I haven't seen you in a chat in a long time. I don't know if we've just been missing each other or different chats, but it's good to see you. And I thank you for coming. Where are we? We are, oh, this week's elephant is going to be just $5. It is an aventurine elephant. Now, Nate probably knows what this is because when I was researching it, um, New Zealand came up as being like ground zero for this type of stone. It's often confused with jade and, and sometimes unscrupulous people like to sell it as jade, but I wanted to be very sure before I tried to say so because I bought it at an estate sale and they didn't give me any indication. What got me to looking was this vein of yellow that you can see running there in his hindquarters, which is a perfect match for the aventurine. So that's what I'm gonna say it is. I'm going to say it is a green aventurine elephant. He's very well carved. He is $5 and he is number 70 for the Aventurine Elephant. Depending upon what country you're in, the trunks up is good luck. Some countries, the trunk down is good luck. Rose Spangenberg, thank you, ma'am. Let me write you down here. Rose, have you purchased from me before? I can't remember. If you have not, then please send me an email at avintageconversation at gmail.com. I will put it in the description of the video if you need to find it, and I will type it in again in a moment. If you have, then you don't have to worry about it because thank you. I appreciate it. Let me go ahead and type that in. Hold on. I have to. I don't know about you guys, but I can't hardly type my, my email address and talk at the same time and now i have to look at it because i'm now i'm so afraid thank you christine because <laughs> i probably would have got it wrong <laughs> i'll be sitting here going it's like um you see somebody reading and their lips are moving that's me when i'm doing my email address i have to sound it out because what was it i told my husband 
I can't remember. That sounded so much like it. Okay, my last strawberry item is a, well, it's not just strawberries. It is, it's berries. Ooh. They are berries. They are the speckled pottery. There are five of them, two, four, five. Yes, there are five of them. They are stacking mugs. They are the stacking mugs. You see, they have the basis for the stacking. So if you don't have a tree, and the tree does not come with them, so if you don't have a tree, you can stack them. Now, there are three raspberries. There is... Ba -da -da. One cherry, and one strawberry. Now, everybody's in good shape. All their rims are nice. No flea bites in their rims. No, no, no big chips to speak of. I think this raspberry has this little oopsie right there. See that? Nothing that you can really see. They're great. One, which one is it? One of these little raspberries disappointed me. That's not you. It's not you. It must be you. Shoot, which one of you boys is it? Come on. Now, I, I know what I saw. I swore I saw one of these raspberries have a, a crack in its handle. And now I can't find it. Maybe it's this one. Oh, yeah, there it is. I found it. Okay. Because I want you to know. Just, you, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. We'll do the magnifying glass again. See if you can see it. Nope, because that's not it. That's not it way up here. It's it's further onto the handle. Anyway, because it looks like, you see, it's got a little, little chippy thing on it right there. That little chippy thing. That's where the crack is. So that's one of the raspberries. So it still leaves four perfectly good ones, although you're getting five for the price of $18 for the Japan and let me find one that says it real good Ugh. they're incised on the bottom they're incised on the bottom each one of them says Japan see they got this beautiful speckle glaze on them anyway they are $18 Number 58, if you are interested in the berry, the Japan berry mugs, the stacking mugs. Very summary. Very summary. Okay. Christine's going. Bye, Christine. Thank you for stopping by, sweetheart. Appreciate it. I missed something. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yes. But I can do that. I just can't type and talk. Can't type and talk. All right. Last item for offer up consideration. A Sadler teapot. This was also, as all the others were, a round top find.
It's in wonderful, wonderful condition. The handle's great. The spout is lovely. It's got this beautiful fan-like, shell-like design on it. And as you can see, as I turn it, it is indented with ridges and then all the beautiful gold on it. The only wear in the gold that I have really found was right on the top of the lid. Right here, there's a little gold wear there. But everywhere else is lovely. Sadler, England. And we're going to do an offer up on it and we're going to start it at $16 on the Saddler with the gold trim around the, the bottom edging. Goes on all of these ridges. Up the handle with the little thumb holder, up the spout, around the spout, all over the lid. It's nice and clean inside. So, is a Sadler teapot anything that you guys would be interested in? If not, then we will move on to something else. Joanne, I see that you're interested in it at $16. It's a really pretty piece. It is, Debbie. It's a really pretty piece. It's something that I would keep except what do we always say, folks? You can't keep everything. But it is the first Saddler teapot that I have found, and I was very happy to find it. So if nobody else wants to challenge Joanne at $16, that works for me. And we will call it and say, Miss Joanne gets the Saddler teapot for $16. And I thank you, Miss Joanne. Now let me write you down here. Okay. All right. Last item before we do our recap, because it is four o'clock, is the McKee. Oh, I'm shedding. Oh, I'm shedding. That's what happens when you wash your hair, it falls out. You leave it dirty so it stays in there. It's the McKee Custard Glass. Oh, you're welcome, Joanne. Hey, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with $16. So I hope it makes you happy and, and it works for you with what you want to do with it. So McKee Uranium Glass. Now, you, if you saw my preview, you will see, I've seen the nice glowy picture of this. Um, on Instagram and both in the preview sale too. I don't think we'll get a whole bunch of glow under these lights, but hold on, sit still. This little thing is just going to be $8. Isn't that pretty? Like I said, if you saw the, the preview and it's got, it's, it has a design that I've never seen. It's got a um, a line in it, and then it's got these little swirly things on it that you can't see on the film. I'm on the film, on the camera. But. Yeah, I looked it up, and it had a MC, MCK on it, so it was McKee. 
I've never seen anything like it. I've never found I've never found a custard glass before. I think it has. Let's see. I see a couple of air bubbles. That's. I don't know if that's normal. I see a little tiny flea bite right here. Anyway, it's it's eight dollars and it is number sixty five. If anyone is interested in the uranium custard glass, the glowing custard glass, I just I, I collect the um, the green, not the custard. Belinda Carroll. Alrighty. Okay. I will recap for you guys the things that did not sell. And because, you know, I like to keep the, the sales short because there are other people who have sales as well. So we'll just kind of, we'll go through these. Yep. Okay. Nope. All right, got that. Okay. We have the the Anchor Hawking Fire King Gravy Boat. The Anchor Hawking Fire King Gravy Boat is ten dollars, number ninety-seven, if anyone is interested. Sorry, I'm trying to, to read. <laughs> we have a pressed glass perfume bottle with a, a glass butterfly stopper. And it is $10, number 51. We have the Van Camp's Recipe 10, advertising recipe 10 from 1986, and it is $8, number 76. Number 51, the perfume bottle goes to Old Stuff Beth. Let me write you down, Beth. All righty. And I'll set you over here. Okay. We have our little ballerina figure. She's $8. She's Art Mark Japan. She's $8, number 99, for the little ballerina figure. There you go. We have an Art Deco bottle, $5, number 63 for the Art Deco bottle. And we have the doily, the pansy doily. The Pansy Doily is $9, number 100. Dave, you want the bottle? All right. Number 63 goes to Dave in the Med Center, who saves on shipping because that'll be delivery. <laughs> Your yard guy? Oh, okay. Hey, plant them shrubs in the right spot. Thank you, Beth. I appreciate it. And then, so the only thing, oh, wait, we have the, the 1931 Eagle Brand Condensed Milk Recipes. So 
some beautiful graphics in here and some great recipes to use with condensed milk. What is this recipe? Fruit salad mayonnaise. What is this? Salad dressings. Oh, for making their own. I thought maybe it was a, a jello thing. Hmm. It even has ice cream and sherbet recipes, if you can believe it. $9, number 96, on the 1931 recipe book. And then the only thing after that is the berry mugs, the stacking berry mugs. Raspberries, cherries, and strawberry. On the, they are Japan, speckle glaze. They're $18, number 58. And that does it. Okay. So, uh, we've already just, I know, Eagle Brand, mm, it, it makes such good pies. I used to make something called a millionaire pie out of that. It was so good back in the 70s. All right. Notes. Let's see. I believe everybody has my email address now and has either already bought something from me or has said they will be sending me their information. There was only two, Rose and Mama's Treasures, that has not bought from me. A reminder, if you want to enter the drawing for the 250 subscriber giveaway, which is the sweet little skunk with the flowers in her hair. She's probably from San Francisco. Um, you need to leave a comment on my last video um, telling me what you like to see in, in live sales. Let's see what's coming up. Oh, my vintage. I have my list this time. Oh, my vintage at six. The Thrifting Adventures and Groovy Vintage both have sales at eight. Vintageous Vintage at nine. Dog got, doggone Happy Vintage at 11. Do not forget tomorrow night is Tammy's sale at uh, 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. That's Tammy at Vintage Uprising, Texas, uh, vintage, followed by Vintage and Vinyl at 9.30. And Beth Sweet Treats and Pretties has her sale on Friday, April 2nd at 11 a.m. So that covers everybody. Now, that's okay, Christy, baby. I know this is the time you work. The email to send it to is a vintage conversation. Here we go. A vintage conversation at gmail.com. There we go. See, it's just my name, but it's got an A in front of it. That's what does it. Bye, Pamela. Thank you. I want to thank you all for stopping by. Please make sure you hit the, the thumbs up that you subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm here every Tuesday, usually either with a sale or a live haul. If I'm not here, it's because one of my friends are having a sale at the same time. There will be a notice so that you can find that sale. I thank you all very much for your purchases and spending your time with me. And have a good day. Bye, guys.